Back to the big story that's affecting all of our lives, the coronavirus outbreak. We saw a big jump in cases in our state going from 41 confirmed now to 68. This is across Connecticut, and most of them are clustered right in Fairfield County. We have learned of a new case in Madison. The first select woman in town says a student at the Grove School is now in self-isolation. We're told that student actually lives in New York State and has returned home, but the town is advising everyone to limit their contact with others other than their family. There could be many more cases too. Channel 3's Carolina Cruz joins us live in Hartford with more details. Carolina. Good morning. Well, a doctor with the Department of Health says that for every person that has tested positive for COVID-19, which is 68, we should expect there to be 100 more. So if you do the math, that puts us in the thousands. And that might be a low estimate. We only have a snapshot of how many coronavirus cases Connecticut is dealing with. Testing was bottlenecked and doctors say we got a late start as the virus quickly spread and continues infecting more people. Starting this week, several hospitals are offering drive through testing for COVID-19 for patients who have a doctor's order. Hospital staff, especially in Fairfield County, are preparing for a spike in cases on top of their already busy days. Greenwich Hospital, they're working 24-7. They're not, the doctors and nurses and others haven't been sleeping for days. They're totally full. Same thing in Danbury and in Bridgeport Hospital. Connecticut has 9,000 hospital beds. Governor Ned Lamont is looking to possibly turn dorms, hospitals, and other places into additional medical space. But the state lacks the manpower. Yesterday, the governor said nurses in training will be certified more quickly. He called on retired nurses to return to work, saying, we'll need you over these next two to six weeks. Another big impact that we're seeing is at the Department of Labor. They report that they typically see about 5,000 applications for unemployment compensation a week, 5,000 a week. And just yesterday, we doubled that, so 10,000 applications in one day alone. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.